Can newly diagnosed type 2 diabetes actually be reversed? Not managed, not controlled, reversed, as in full remission. There's a randomized control trial that looked just at that alone, and, and, and it published back in May of 2025, this year, in a journal called the BMC Medicine, and it shocked the medical world. But honestly, I personally wasn't too surprised about what they found, but I was definitely impressed to the extent of what they found. Let me explain. You see, researchers reported an 87% remission rate using a simple, realistic combination of modern medications and, you guessed it, healthy lifestyle changes, specifically nutrition and exercise. No starvation, no crash or fad diets, no surgery, just basic scientific knowledge and good old-fashioned lifestyle medicine coaching. Today, I'm breaking down exactly what they did, what exactly the study found, and what this means for you and why remission might be far more achievable than you've ever been told. I'm Dr. G and welcome back to the Lifestyle Medicine Network where we discuss the power and the science of lifestyle medicine to improve your health and quality of life. Now this video is education, not personal medical advice, but I aim to give you the clarity, hope, and facts that far too many people never hear. So let's start with the setup of the study because the design matters. For those of you who may be interested, I'll post a link to this published trial in the description so you can read it for yourself. Section one, study overview. Now, this study included adults between the ages of 18 and 60 years old who were newly diagnosed with prediabetes or type two diabetes within the six months before starting the study. Uh, they were all at least overweight or obese with a BMI of 28% or more. 90 participants were screened and a total of 61 participants were actually randomized. And researchers randomly put them into two groups. The first group was the standard treatment, which were 30 participants. And this group got usual diabetes medications, including metformin and SGL2, SGLT2 inhibitors and GLP-1 agonists. General lifestyle advice, verbally, they were told to avoid sugary drinks, to eat more vegetables, to move 30 minutes a day, and minimal support. Otherwise, they didn't get any other support from the team. And pretty much that's what most people get in real life. Now, the other group was the intensive treatment group. That's the group we're studying. And there were 31 participants randomized in that group. This is where things get interesting, especially to a lifestyle medicine coach. I know you know one. <laughs> this intervention group received diabetes meds that support weight loss. Uh, we know what kind of meds those are, and we'll talk about those in a minute, but a structured high protein diet. And the diet all consisted of at least 25% protein, 50% carbs, and 25% healthy fats. A daily calorie reduction of about 500 calories a day, and a diet gui guided by a nutrition and followed by a food diary every day, every three days they filled out just for accountability. They got a specific exercise program to do about 150 to 200 minutes of moderate exercise, two to three days of resistance training that lasts about 20 minutes each time. And they got frequent professional coaching, including lifestyle medicine coaching, dietitians, nurses, and exercise specialists every two weeks. Now, it's not extreme, it's, it's not unsafe, it's just structured, consistent, and science-led. So, the only real difference between the two groups was a science-backed lifestyle modification plan and regular accountability with guidance from a team of experts in medicine and nutrition and lifestyle medicine and fitness. And from what I know of the power of lifestyle medicine, when applied like this, it's actually no surprise the results were nothing short of remarkable. The results. So let's hit the numbers because this is where it gets jaw dropping. First, let's talk about the remission for diabetes in the study, and which was defined as moving uh, to a A1C below 6.5 and staying there for three months without the medications. And remission for prediabetes was getting to an A1C of less than 5.7 and staying there with no medications for three months. First, let's see how the intervention group did. 87% remission in newly diagnosed type 2 diabetes. Remember, that's diabetes diagnosed with, within six months of starting the trial. And they got 73% of normalization from prediabetes. And in the standard group, only 16 to 17% remission rates and just 8% of the prediabetics normalized. And these numbers weren't even significant. So this could be from just dumb luck. And that's five to 10% uh, uh, higher success simply by pairing medications with a structured lifestyle medicine plan with accountability built in. 
So let's talk about weight loss after 12 months. In the intensive group, a, a drop of 19.3 kilograms, which is about 42 and a half pounds average loss. And in the standard group, a drop of only 1.5 kilograms, which is about three pounds. Again, this weight, uh, this weight loss was achieved, uh, was not significant in this group either, but it wasn't just the scale weight. They used DEXA scans to also measure body fat and the intensive group lost more overall body fat, more visceral fat, which I call it the danger fat, and overall more liver fat. Now, why does this matter? Because visceral and liver fat drive insulin resistance. If you shrink them, your insulin sensitivity and your blood sugar both improve dramatically. And as a result, and apparently, if you keep it off, diabetes can remain controlled or in remission even when we stop the meds completely. Completely take it off, including the GLP-1s. So let's talk about why this worked. And here is why this combination crushed it. Modern medications improve appetite and insulin sensitivity. Medications like metformin, which is not that modern, but very well used, SGLT2s, pretty modern, modern uh, medication, and GLP-1 medications, which are very modern, modern, each support glucose control while encouraging your weight loss. And high protein nutrition prevents hunger crashes. That's the second thing that, you know, why I think this crushed it. This protein keeps you fuller longer, stabilizes blood sugars, and protects muscle mass while you're losing fat and improving your metabolism. The third thing that I think uh, helped to crush it here on this uh, study is moderate exercise improving insulin signaling. Not extreme workouts, just regular doable movement. 150 to 200 minutes a week is absolutely doable. And when you add resistance training two to three times a week on top of it, it increases lean muscle mass, which drives the engine of your metabolism. The fourth thing is regular coaching creates accountability and a structured plan that's easier to follow. Participants in this study had professional support every two weeks, solid scientific advice on what to do and accountability to keep them on task. That's a massive advantage. There's no guessing in a plan like this. We can expect certain results and if they don't happen, we can easily pinpoint why or why not and get on top of it. Point number five, medications were tapered as health improved. As fasting sugars normalized, doctors safely lowered their doses, avoiding hypoglycemia, which can feel scary to some people, and it causes them to quit interventions ahead of time. And patients ended up maintaining better levels for three months off the medications, proving their improvements were real and long lasting. Number six, weight loss driven by structured lifestyle changes. Now, implementing lifestyle modifications to make long lasting changes results in losing weight reducing visceral body fat and also dropping overall body fat has been well known to play a significant role in meta metabolic efficiency and insulin sensitivity. Ultimately, the body resets and begins to control blood glucose again on its own. The structured nature makes the plan easier to follow, and when results don't happen, there's support and knowledge built in to address the concern before frustration sets in and quitting becomes an option. In the end, the changes in lifestyle made this way have a much higher chance of becoming longer lasting and more effective. Now, this wasn't a crash diet. This was a full on strategic metabolic reset targeting the root cause of diabetes. The cards are stacked in their favor. Now, what does this mean for you? Here's the bottom line. Type two diabetes, especially early on, is often reversible. The decision to do something like this in the real world is not for everyone. You have to be consistent and committed. It's not overnight, so if you aren't in for a journey of at least six months or more, this isn't for you. But if you are, far more people can achieve remission than we previously believed. The winning combo from this study was this. Modern medications like GLP-1s, high protein nutrition, moderate consistent exercise, a regular support system and accountability, and a long-term mindset. I know you're probably thinking this study was small with only 61 patients uh, randomized and, and, and follow up was only a year. But still, if someone told you that your diabetes is an inevitable lifelong downhill slide and the medications are forever, even the GLP ones, this study tends to prove otherwise and gives you an 87% chance to turn diabetes around. And from what we know, reduce the chances of all the possible complications associated with it. There are two magic numbers I want you to focus on in this study. First, the subjects who lost 15% or more of their beginning weight had more remission of diabetes. 
The second important number is the drop in weight appears to accelerate after six months of being in the study. That tells me we can target a number by calculating 15% or more uh, off the starting weight as a goal. And I usually set it at 20% for my patients anyway. And also set a long-term strategy to arrive at the goal about eight to 12 months coaching my patients the entire way. This study pretty much backs everything I coach and talk about on this channel. And I am excited to use the extra bits of knowledge I learned during, uh, during my next coaching sessions. Might be with you. <laughs> How to use this information. I know most of you watching are probably super excited, but hold on for a second, Tiger. This doesn't mean you should try to replicate the program alone or without some guidance, because as you drop weight and the A1C, the nutrition parameters and the meds need to be adjusted as well. And that's to keep you safe along the way. But it does mean if you're newly diagnosed, remission may still be on the table. Even if you struggle with blood sugar for years, hope is not lost, especially if it's been less than 10 years since you were diagnosed. Now, if you want a plan that works, you should talk to your healthcare team, um, including your doctor, about these things. First, GLP-1 medications. Um, adding an SGLT2 inhibitor if you're not on one. Maybe metformin. High protein nutrition. Exercise therapy and guidance. Diabetes remission programs that are out there. And possibly working with a registered dietitian or coach if your doctor isn't keen on nutrition and coaching. If they aren't sure about where you are coming from with all this, please go ahead and show them the study. Tell them I sent you. <laughs> and diabetes doesn't have to be a one-way street. Not anymore. Quick pause, because if this is speaking to you and you're hearing and feeling it in your soul, your body, your mind, your heart, and you're thinking, okay, I'm ready, but I need a real system. I don't have a team like the folks in this trial. How can I learn the necessary skills to recreate something like this on my own? That's exactly why I wrote my book, Reclaim Your Health. It's the best start I can think of. It's a 90 plus page doctor-led lifestyle workbook that gives you a metabolic reboot plan, step-by-step -step guidance on how to get yourself to do the things needed to reach your lifestyle medicine goals with templates, stress and sleep protocols, identity-based habits, a clear step-by-step -step framework you can follow. If you want something simple, realistic, and actually doable, like the study I just broke down in this video, hit the link below and grab your copy. Now, let's go ahead and wrap this up. If you want a follow-up video showing exactly what a high protein diabetes remission meal plan looks like, type remission in the comments. Or if you'd like to see or learn the top exercises that improve insulin resistance, drop the comment lean below so we know which one to do next. And to the 80% of you watching right now who aren't subscribed, and if you found this helpful, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, and share this with someone who needs to hear that diabetes remission is absolutely possible. It helps the word spread, it helps this channel grow, and it's free to you. That's a win-win-win. I'm Dr. G. Stay healthy, stay informed, and I will see you soon.